just made it. <laughs> uh, well, wow. Yes, I'm here. <laughs> and I'm just finishing off doing the cross posting. I figured out how to do it really quickly, but it's not quickly enough with just that minute timer. Wow. Yes, some things have still got to be finessed with the changes that Facebook have made. But we're here, so it's lovely to have you here. Now, take a breath. Just checking that my page looks okay because I've got things a little bit differently. <laughs> I decided to do the two decks of layouts, like the spreads, just so we've got a bit of a comparison <laughs> this morning. And it'd be lovely if you could actually vote which you like best as you do as we're doing our stream this morning. Now, um, I'm going to put now if you're in the mic, oh, the, the little bits and pieces. Because I could cross post last minute, the way that Facebook are doing it is you, it's got to start before the link is actually active. So that's why it comes up with an error page because the scheduled link doesn't start to be active until I hit the live button. Bit of a weird thing. That's what they've decided to do. Good morning, Karen. How are you? <laughs> Lovely to see you here. And with the link, uh, I like to have it cross posted. So you may be in my Ros Boundy page or my Hypnosis Plus with Ros page or the live video hub page, I think that one is, yep, or even on my YouTube because I put that in one of my posts. So lovely to welcome you here from anywhere. I don't mind, but if you want your comments brought up like I've been able to do with saying hi to Karen, you will need to actually click, I think the link is there somewhere, directly to the mytimetv.live page. That's the one that you need to actually be in the chat stream commenting there so that I can see your comments. Okay. Now, uh, just a reminder that this is a general card reading that we have here. And what I've chosen today is to, and I'm going to put that over there, is to uh, use the different deck to start with. And I'm going to pop my, pop that streamer thing off so that we're not got a scroller and I'm going to hide those up the top so we've got a good clear space to see and I know why I put my I'm going to put this around and up there and move my face because I just don't like looking like I'm actually talking away from the cards so here we've got the pixie cards it's Pixie's Astounding Lenament. It's still a Lenament card deck, but I've decided to use the ones that are actually in the tin. Can you hear that? Sounds like a tin because it is a tin. And they kept the, a gorgeous little handy deck because they actually fit, they fit in my hand a lot easier to do the shuffling. So I decided, oh, I'll just use these this morning, but I have a backup. <laughs> so. What we've got, oh, it's okay, Karen. Lovely, lovely to have the um, comments being able to be popped up because we've got the technology. It does work eventually. So what we've got is the moon card in our workspace. So this is the work position for the energies. This one here, we've got the bear in our home energies. Up the top in the unexpected, it is the dog. And down here in the your role, we've actually got mice. Um, it's a bit hard to see, but that picture is of mice crawling all over the table. And right in the centre, we've got the lady at the outcome. So it really, it's a really good set of cards in that they're all, pop, well, besides the mice, the, um, you know, they're sort of seen as a negative card because they come in and steal stuff. But the top three, top four cards here are actually quite positive set of cards. We have the moon in that space for our work energies and it is creative. It's that feeling of having the shining light on new ideas, on things that from the new moon are going to bring up to a full moon, those ideas that are coming forward. 
and I'm pretty sure it's a new moon. Is it a new moon today? Shaz, you might be able to tell us because you have a, uh, do you have a new moon diary? That's for next year though, wouldn't it? Um, anyway, that's, that's what the moon energy is. It's about that creativity and bringing it out and forward for things that are in your workplace. Then we've got the bear being that strength and getting things done and having having progress happen in the, the home space, that type of thing. So there's some pretty strong characters around for your day to day in that home aspect. We've got the dog way up. I've got to stretch my arm right out <laughs> because you'll see in a minute why. The dog is that faithful companion, that loving energy that's ready and able to just jump in at any time to be the friend, to be the support, to be the playfulness. So we've got that happening in our day too. Now, as far as our role goes with the mice, now that could be, um, you know, just the, the little ideas that are being stolen away from us, you know, being careful with the creativity that not, you know, that some of it's not being stolen away or nibbled on or, you know, having that erosion of confidence in what our ideas are going to do is what I'm feeling there. So because this is the position of our role, it is our role to actually be wary and aware of and that we're not actually using our own self-doubts to actually stop and, and you know, um, keep, keep down or hidden those things that are creative ideas in, in our workspace and, you know, nibbling away at what is good solid stuff, uh, making it insecure in you know, unstable right because um you'll see that in a minute <laughs> and we've got good morning kathy how are you and i just saw that would get a cat uh, yeah you've got three <laughs> i haven't got any no uh and the lady in the center well that's just that beautiful gentle energy of of feminine uh, being that outcome of being able to actually sit in that side of our energy by the end of the day and that we've actually been able to gather that, that uh, you know, because we are masculine feminine, every single one of us has that balance of what is our masculine and feminine side. So I'm feeling that by the end of the day, we're actually going to have that more feminine aspect about us. Now, what I have done is uh, also laid out the deck in the aspect in the same way but using our regular gilded reverie deck and as you can see um folk which which deck do you like most <laughs> i know what my preference is already because i just absolutely love the gilded reverie artwork so here we have got that moon you know the 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 beautiful colors and depictions that are in the workspace uh, so it is a new moon today i knew it was coming up and i thought it was today so perfect perfect timing for the moon card to actually show in our workspace because it is about that creativity and bringing forward those new ideas as you can see from the two different depictions how different they are but it's still the same meaning it really is about that energy coming up and creating new ideas and things for you. So colourful one's good for you. Yeah, see, I like uh, definitely that's <laughs> my preference. And I might just need to sneak myself in the corner a little bit more and just shrink me down a tad more. And there you go. <laughs> that's what I love about my ECAM. <laughs> I can do that with ECAM. So... Um, and Rosie, you're in rural Victoria, so today you do start back towards a bit more normality. Yeah, I did hear the news on that. Uh, I had to. I don't watch the news, so it must have been that um, my partner Tony had actually had the news on in the background, and I've heard it. And Karen, yes, you love the Gilded Reverie. I, I certainly do. So it's just that that it it, it gives a really more colourful and a bit more detail in some of these um, photo, well, photos, artworks, because I do consider that artworks. They're absolutely gorgeous. So here we have that that um, strength in, in the work that's moving forward in our home space so that uh, the bear really is 
And because it's in the, the home space, it really is that sort of nurturing, sometimes cruel to be kind type of energy that you can get with families and, and in the home space because there are particular ways that we'd like things to be because it is our more intimate, you know, the heart space, the more intimate space that we're experiencing with what we do in our homes. So, and that beautiful depiction of the dog, I always absolutely love that one because it's just so loving that look on the face and it's ready to go. And most especially my favourite really is uh, this depiction. I absolutely love the little fat mice. They're just so loving, lovable, even though, you know, in most interpretations the mice are, uh, are tending to be a negative card because it's about things being nibbled away at uh, and thieved and stolen and in the back in the dark and you know suddenly unexpected all of that type of you know the keywords that we can use for the mice I just love the card because it's just such a cutie little one swinging away all cares aside not knowing he's going to drop flat shortly and it's the abundance that's around us. We're not careful enough with how we handle our abundance, honestly. And I think that's part of what's the message for us today too, being more responsible for that abundance. And here we've got in this card how it's depicted there as as far as, you know, there, there's that king one that's sitting up and every all the others are sort of still nibbling away. They don't have a care for each other. They're just in it for themselves. And you can sort of sense that and see that in even in the Gilded Reverie card. So it's all a great way to actually compare. And I just decided to do it that way because I could. And it's just so, so like um, our choices of what we use as our tool can be so different um, for the various reasons of what we're attracted to whether it's just the plain Jane or whether it's the beautiful artwork or whether it's even a different style that's more along the oh, the Wiccan side, for instance, or the, um, you know, the wisps of nature um, because there's certainly a heap of variety of decks in the Lenormand as there is in tarot and other cards. So even just in the tools of cards, there's such a variety. And it comes down to, to us having that such a variety in each and every one of us being our unique selves and, help, you know, helping ourselves to actually understand that uniqueness, but also at the same time that we are actually interlaced and interconnected with each other because that's what our vibrational energy does. We are linked and connected with each other. All things are linked and connected. So I just love that feeling of, that you know that the, the one in the oneness of all that we are so you know that it, it is a naught that the sphere of the earth <laughs> and all things I suppose it's why I do like um you know having having the shape of my um insert being the circle and lots of other reasons anyway it's coming up to 15 minutes so I'm going to try and get it in with that and We'll see you tomorrow about the 8 o'clock, uh, hopefully on time, and I've just gone over, but that's all right. Keep being the best person that you can be, and namaste. Till then, bye for now.